Two years ago, I designed and built this CNC mill from scratch. It has a BT30 spindle, so it accepts BT30 tool holders, and has linear rails, double nut ball screws, um, pretty much everything that I wanted in a premium CNC mill. These are just uh, the first couple of test cuts that I ran on it, and I never had my speeds and feeds styled in for these, but um, this was just a simple little test part that I made. You'll hear in the video that I'm messing around with feeds and speeds as I'm running this program and uh, just kind of playing around with this different recipes. I'm running a half inch end mill and a quarter inch or maybe a six millimeter uh, chamfer mill that you can see there. And the reason I, I designed this part, it's like little EDC knuckles or something, um, but basically I only had two tool holders at the time when I had finished my uh, machine. And I had a half inch and a six millimeter uh, solid tool holder so this is the part that I came up with and uh, that's why it looks the way it does and has big pockets in it. Flip the part over for OP2 and uh, you can see I, I didn't end up programming an OP2 so I'm just jogging the machine around by hand and uh, it's definitely a lazy way to do it but that's how I ended up doing it and it worked out. So I just figured I'd speed this up for you. All in all, the part came out really good and uh, I was very happy with the surface finish and how well the machine performed. Like I said, I made this machine uh, well over two years ago, so I have a lot of video and a lot of footage of machining and also building. Uh, the machine from scratch. So if that's something you guys are interested in, uh, please like and subscribe and I will make sure to get lots more DIY CNC content over to you guys. Thanks for watching.